Hi guys, Mitch King with Trade Stocks America with the Monday morning, November 29, 2010 daily stock report. The Dow 30 was down about 9 tenths of 1% or 95 points. So we're clearly in a trading range from this right in here. And we've been in here for about seven or eight trading days. So we either need to break through or if this thing goes down below this line, that's really not a good sign to go below that 11,000 figure on the Dow 30. The downgrade in the Irish banks today, as well as the warning by China to US and South Korea about doing the military drills off the coast of the border is rattled the market and we could see some down opening on Monday if this escalates any further. Here's the Nasdaq composite. Didn't correct as much as the Dow. Down one third of one percent or eight and a half points on the Nasdaq composite. Still in a nice bullish uptrend. And here's the S&P 500 down three quarters of one percent. It's not likely that any further escalation will continue with the North and South Korea situation. China backs up the North Korea. The U.S. backs up the South Korea. Nobody wants to get in a war, especially the U.S. And China doesn't either because we're their biggest trading partner and they have so much of our U.S. Treasuries. Here's the Russell 2000, by the way. It's not broken through that early November high, but it's close, and it's the most bullish index pattern of all four of them that we're following. Here's the Volatility Index, up 13.5% today. Let's take a little wider view of that. Overall, you know, it, it was back to $45, $46 this summer in late May, and it's come down to this 19 to $22 figure. So they're still relatively low volatility even with today's spike. Here's AZO, AutoZone still just trending up, all-time high again today, as well as CMG getting pretty hot here, up 2.2% on Chipotle Mexican Grill, all-time high today as well on this stock. Here's VIT, not much change today. Here's Netflix on a nice momentum run, up 1.6% today, all-time high for Netflix. Baidu still consolidating, or being, it's going flat, looking for it to curve up. And if it doesn't do that within a week, we might consider reducing that long position or closing. Mosaic, really getting impatient with this one. Not much movement. Really gradual uptrend to begin with. So if you need some money to free up, this would be the one to reduce or sell. AERL, Asia Entertainment, still going down. I think it's got to break below that 870 number here in the next few days and then it'll start dropping down to that 8.1 area and this is a bull short on a which is a swing trade on the short side Hanson Natural Beverages which is a long position up three quarters of one percent real steadily moving up SanDisk holding up fairly well after this last five days jump has been real strong Apple Computer holding up fairly well in the last six seven days moving from 296 to 317, about 20 points, 21, about 8% on this stock. Here's DWA DreamWorks starting to move up here, looking for this 33 to 3350 number. Looking for a move upward on win. This has any more downside to it. This should be stopped out right in here because you don't this is a real bad sign to see this drop below this red line. So that's generally where you want to keep your stop. If this goes below it, just auto let it auto trigger. Here's the latest bull short MGIC went up today 6.5% and this one went to 682 as a high. This was at 616. Yesterday was as high as 717. So this was a pretty nice correction today. Some of you guys got that short and I don't know if you covered or scalped it long. But usually at the top of these there's that old faithful geyser where it just kind of bounces up. It's, it stays up there pretty high. This one looks pretty strong. Remember, this is a low price stock. They tend not to correct as easily. So watch this. If it goes to a new high, that would be a problem. My guess is that it'll probably cool off, go down to that fives, low fives here. So we'll see how the market acts. We'd like to see the market move up. It's easier to make money on the long side. But if we start breaking down below that critical area on the indexes, start considering reducing those long positions. And here's the S&P 500. When you get to that 1175 number, that would be... Uh, a big concern here. So you guys take care. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. We'll talk to you soon.